Age of Darkness, the final stand is hopefully a day are billions like. The hopefully in that sentence is very important. Age of Darkness is a strategic survival game. You start simple. One base, a few troops and your hero. The first thing you do is probably building houses, which produces income but needs food, gold and wood. And a hidden resource, space. You also need for some buildings stone, iron and people to man the buildings, not to build them, this isn't the age of cannibals. While you do that you need to explore the map and battle against enemies that have different abilities. This is something Age of Darkness does very well, genre meshing. On one side you have your real time strategy stuff. Attacking, kiting, retreating and so on. And on the other side city management. Build new houses, then build a lumber yard because you need wood, build a quarry because you need stone. The key of combining those is the aforementioned hidden resource, space. Space is limited and you cannot block things completely. Your city will soon be too large. The real time strategy part is practically supplying space to the city, while the city supplies troops and upgrades. Another factor is time. The game is long term ended as well as short term. Periodically, at first three days, there will be a death knight, which sounds a bit like a 90s gothic album. There will be a huge spawn of enemies that try to destroy you. So you need to enhance your defenses as fast as possible, but you cannot do so regardless of your economy which you need to secure future defenses. After building houses and securing food, you will need to expand with more and better buildings. You build a wood workshop, you research upgrades and now your houses can have more people. You can build farms that produces more food, if they have enough space. Better troops, better walls, better towers. While you do this you might use choke points on the map to secure your base. At first with walls and a simple guard tower, later with ballistas and a wall of stone. Enemies, even on non-death knights, might attack you. On day it's usually not a problem, but at night the enemies become restless. They run around and get stronger. Your troops need to be careful when it's night. You should still explore, but now it's far more dangerous. You can pick from three heroes and all of them are exceedingly strong in combat, have levels and skills. Combat is also the biggest difference to their billions. You have a lot of melee, from the normal soldier to a sentinel, that is a powerhouse all on its own. The early death knights will probably be carried by your troops. At the third death knight you need more area of effect damage, like the fire towers or catapults. At one point you reach the horde spawning crystal and can build your defenses around it. Also you need those red crystals for future upgrades, that are just buffs to your troops, but important nonetheless. Usually I'm not a graphics whore, but the hidden parts of the map during the death knight are one of the best effects I saw in these games. They are beautiful and impressive, and still have this menacing aura to them. Speaking of, another unique trait Age of Darkness has is the fog of war and light mechanic. When you run around and kill enemies, they stay dead. Some enemies might wander into the area, but as long as you kill everything, it's safe. This changes on a death knight. Everything you have not lightened up will spawn enemies when the death knight is over. You need light sources to prevent this. At the end there will be a final death knight that spawns enemies from all spots, even if the crystal was destroyed. You survive this and the game is over. In one way or another. And this is in essence what you do in Age of Darkness. And the combination of real time strategy and city management is the best part. Age of Darkness is so similar to They Are Billions and I strongly believe someone wanted to make a full mod of his version of They Are Billions and couldn't do it. So they started programming their own vision of the game. The icons are almost in the same place. The way you progress with wood workshop and stone and siege factories. Almost everything. And this is a good sign. They Are Billions is one of my favorite games and now Age of Darkness proves that this wasn't a one of a kind game, but could become a genre. Genrefication is weird. When Doom hit the shelves in 1993, there were tons of Doom clones. And that was what they were called. Because the term shooter wasn't coined yet. The same later with Diablo. Before someone called it an action RPG, many similar games called themselves Diablo clones. For a newer example we have the almost omnipresent Souls-like right now. 
I hope that someday gamers and journalists get their shit together to name it probably and define what the genre is made of, but looking how abused and bastardized the RPG term is, I'm less optimistic. This is why at the start of the video I hope it's a they are billions like, because I want more of these type of games. I want this genre, and the success of Age of Darkness will prove if it has the potential I see in it. And Age of Darkness has massive potential, and I hope it finds its own identity. Here are some ideas you might or might not agree to. For future updates. Of killing enemy bases. You could send troops into an underground area where one of the crystals is or was and kill the enemy base and prevent them from spawning on that spot on the final death night. A risky move with high rewards. Layered progression. You could have an upgrade system persistent over different games, like the campaign in They Are Billions. Multiplayer. Okay, everyone is usually crying for multiplayer whenever a game comes out, but just adding another player is uninteresting. Instead, make two maps. Both players can send each other resources, but have different objectives. One player needs to defend while the other is attacking the enemy. You could even make it so that the second player cannot produce troops and player one has to send them. Terraforming. They are billions and Age of Darkness is about space. So maps can become incredible hard in both games depending on the layout. So how about destroyable mountains, forests and more? Ideas are easy, programming is hard, but not voicing your ideas is the same as not having them, and partaking in a discussion is far more important for an early access game than for a finished one. Early access is something very good if done right. We all know some games where the devs took off with the money or the game ended up as shit. But there are tons of examples for good early access. The most successful video game of all time, Minecraft, is one. I do not know how the developers of Age of Darkness handle early access. I hope they take feedback and not just money, but I cannot know this. Right now I can say that Age of Darkness is about 25% overpriced. It has the core gameplay of They Are Billions, but They Are Billions has a campaign on top of that. There are very few bugs and some exploits. One funny example. Death Knights only end if all enemies are dead, and some single horror might attack a huge wall in the middle of nowhere for hours, while you can still build your defenses, get money and train troops. And this is Age of Darkness. Feel free to give some of your ideas or criticize mine. Farewell.